Hello friends, happy, what day is today? Friday, hope you guys are doing great today. Um, here we go, here is today's Bible study. Um, I meant to go live a little earlier or do this study a little earlier, but um, I went grocery shopping today. If you follow me on uh, Instagram, which probably you do, then you know I went grocery shopping today and it was a little hectic, but it's all good, here we are. Um, so today is day five in our seven day um, study that me and my husband are doing and he was uh, amazing enough to do the seven day Bible study. He picked topics that he wanted us to focus on, not just for these days that we're going through them, but for the entire um, year of 2020. Um, we've been doing it with a type of fast I shared with you guys um, and it's been great so far. So today's topic is walk by the spirit. If you are a Christian, I'm sure you've heard this so many times. I've heard it so many times and it's not until maybe like a few months ago that I really actually understood what that, what that said. Um, I listened a lot to um, the pastor Paul David Tripp and he explained it in such an amazing way that um, even going through this passage, I think... Um, it explains it the way that he explains it, or he explains it the way that it explains it. Anyways, um, the Bible passage that we're going, going to be going through today is in the book of Galatians, Galatians chapter 5. Um, my husband had put verses 16 and 17, but if you continue reading on, I think it adds to what um, we're focusing on today. So I'm going to go ahead and continue reading. Um, my three kids are in the bottom, like downstairs, so if they pop in here... I am so sorry. And it is dark out. I usually like doing natural light, but it's dark outside. So I'm like, let me turn on my actual lights. <laughs> so um, my filming lights, uh, I meant to say. Okay, so let's jump right, right into it. Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 through. We'll see where we, where we stop. Okay, so it says, keep in step with the Spirit. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other, to keep you from doing the things you want to do. And then we'll continue on um, uh, in a little bit. But even starting with the first verse, it says, But I say to you, walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. So I can't think of the top of my head now, but another verse that says to walk in the spirit and throughout scripture, we're supposed to be living in the spirit. Um, and here it gives you pretty much how to do it, okay? Because it says, okay, uh, but I say walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Here we're talking about two things. So we're talking about the spirit and we're talking about the flesh. Um, and according to these passages, these two do not go hand in hand. They're like water and oil. They cannot mix. They cannot be where the other one is. And since we are Christians and we are called to live and walk in the spirit, we are called to um, reject the flesh and things that come from the flesh. The flesh. So if we focus on walking in the spirit, we are going to um, automatically block or automatically should um, how do I say this, uh, uh, prevent us from walking in the flesh, okay? So it should be either or the other. If I'm walking in the flesh and later we're gonna figure out what that looks like, then I'm not walking in the spirit. If I'm walking in the spirit, then guess what? I'm probably not doing, not living in the flesh, okay? So again, just to keep our mindset here, uh, walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the spirit. Remember I told you, they, go, they don't go hand in hand. They are opposites. And the desires of the spirit are against the flesh. So the flesh wants to go against the spirit. The spirit wants to go against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other. To keep you from doing the things that you want. Even walking in the spirit and denying the flesh. Um, the flesh pretty much um, is what brings us back to just our sinful being and the sinful um, state that we are in, right? Um, and walking in the flesh. So, I lost my train of thought. Here we go. So again, to be able to embrace the spirit, we're supposed to deny the flesh, okay? So let's continue on and it says, but if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law, okay? Why? Because in the Old Testament law, um, we were called to be obedient to the law, to follow it kind of like for salvation. But now that we walk in the spirit, we are, okay. Verse 19, 
Now the works of the flesh are evident. I love this because here, Paul is clearly letting you know what the flesh looks like. So in your life, if you see any of these that I'm going to mention, and things that go hand in hand with this, guess what? You already know that you are living in the flesh and hence not living in the spirit. Um, so one thing that Paul Tripp said um, that caught my eye was, he was like walking in the spirit. Okay, what does that mean? Because you're like, okay, walk in the spirit as a Christian, we have to. What does it look like? Practically, what does that look like? And he was saying, walk in a way that God wants you to in the path that he would approve. Okay, so looking at your life, how do I walk in the spirit when it comes to my kids in disciplining them, in loving them, in loving my husband, in decisions that I have to make daily? What would Jesus do? What, what decision that I make would God approve of, okay? Um, as far as being obedient to him and his teachings and his commands. So again, now I'm going back to the flesh. The, uh, the, so again, verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are evident. And here we are. You guys ready? Sexual immoral immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, decessions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these because it could continue on, right? So think of anything that would go hand in hand with this would, should, should, should be included in this category. So look at your life. Am I living a life that shows anger, envy, jealous? Am I having quarrels with people or have strife? Um, am I getting drunk? Am I, what else, being jealous? You know, do I have envy against my brother or my sister? That right there are evidence of the flesh. So you know for sure that those are things you should keep an eye out for that you shouldn't do so that you live in the spirit, right? So verse 22, so verse 22 it says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with his passions and desires. So we follow Jesus, all of these flesh desires that we have that come naturally in us to do, we are to crucify them with Jesus Christ. Um, so again, in order to live in the spirit, embrace these things that, he, that Paul um, puts in here. Embrace daily what? Uh, love, joy, faithful, gentleness, self-control against all of, like all of these things we are to be focusing on. Um, I think in our house we do such an amazing job at decorating, putting little little like um, paintings and like quotes and like pretty you know stuff on our walls and and we should actually even like in our rooms and walls and things that we see every single day. Why don't we put these things so that when we see them we are reminded, hey, that is how I'm supposed to walk in the spirit today. And again, this is something that we. A, should be preaching to ourselves daily, but also preaching to ourselves throughout this whole year. This is not just something that, something that I have to look forward to today, but something that I should be embracing every single day. Walking in the Spirit, walking in a way that is true to being obedient to God, that He would approve of. Um, and every day, when you go grocery shopping, when you go to work, when you go to, the, to school, when you go to the bank, when you go anywhere, how am I living my life today that goes hand in hand with what God calls me to do? A path that, again, he would approve of. And that is walking and living in the spirit, okay? All right, guys, so that's about it for today. We do have two more days in the study. Um, and I don't usually do these Bible studies Saturday and Sunday. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'll probably just carry on till next week. And then the two remaining ones I will do on Monday and on Tuesday for you guys, okay? All right, guys, have an amazing day. Love you guys, and I will see you guys hopefully on Monday. Bye.